Hi, this is lesson number 52 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful wind effect in Photoshop using few simple and easy steps. As you can see in front of this uh, table fan, we have a wind effect. This is what we will create. Here I have same uh, picture. In this image, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's open the layer palette and here we have thumb of the image. The first thing we need to do is to create new layer. So click here. Here we have new empty layer. We will use brush tool. Here we have brush in our toolbox. Make sure the hardness is 100% and smoothing is zero. If you will add smoothing here, the brush will work slowly. So make sure it is zero. Here you can reduce the brush size, brush opacity 100%, the color is white, I think we can reduce a little bit more the brush size. You can press left and right square bracket next to the letter P and simply draw a circular shape, something like this and it is in the new layer. Layer is selected. Go to filter, distort, twirl. This filter we are going to apply. Make it 100%. You can make this amount in minus or plus. It's up to you. Click OK. So this is how we have Reduce the size, match with the fan grill this way, hit enter. Now we are going to use another filter, click on filter, radial blur, previously I used this amount 100%, you need to keep it 100%, blur method zoom, quality good and you need to keep it in the corner this way and then click OK. Here we have beautiful effect. But if you want to make it a little bit more strong, you can duplicate the layer and then merge down. Control E, merge down. So the effect is a little bit strong. Try once again, repeat the filter, radial blur, that is fine. If you want to make it a little bit curved, you can use wrapping, go to edit, transform, wrap, hit enter. So the effect is there, but in this area we need to remove, we need to remove this part it will give impression that the wind is passing through the grill. To do that, we can just add a layer mask. Layer is selected. Simply click on add layer mask. Make sure that your foreground color is black. Select the brush and make it zero, the hardness. Increase the brush size. That's all. This is how with few simple and easy step, we created this wind effect. Try to Google the similar image for your practice. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you.